Hey guys, it's Michelle and Cindy from the Yoga Shack. This video is going to be for all the people out there that have always wanted to start a yoga practice but were too afraid to come to a class and try. So we're going to break down Sun Salutation A, which you're going to find in most vinyasa classes and most classes across the board. So we wanted to give you an opportunity to maybe practice at home so that way you're not afraid once you come in. So here we go. Cindy will be our model for today. <laughs> so you'll stand at the top of your mat in Tadasana. Feet together or slightly apart, arms alongside the body, shoulders down, chest is lifted, chin parallel to the mat, big smile on your face. <laughs> Inhale, lift the arms up, keep the shoulders relaxed. As you exhale, forward fold, swan diving down over the feet, leading with your heart. Allow yourself to relax here in Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Hands can come to the floor or to the shins. Whatever gives you more length, you want to extend the sternum forward, shoulders back. <laughs> Exhale, plant your palms. You're going to bend the knees and step back into a plank pose. Basically like a prep for a push-up. High on the tippy toes, the weight is rolling forward into the hands. She's going to come down onto her knees for support. At this point, she's going to lower through chaturanga, gazing forward, elbows squeeze into the ribs, pretty much opposite of a push-up. She's going to inhale now through either cobra or upward facing dog. So cobra pose, elbows squeezing into the body, slight lift of the chest, heart forward, or upward facing, the knees will lift off the mat, her elbows will straighten, and her heart pulls forward. Lots of space in the back here. And then she'll tuck her toes and exhale, pushing the hips up and back to a downward facing dog. Feet should be close, but not touching. My hips heels have pushing to down. down. No, the heels do not have to be down in your downward facing dog. But good question. You want your heels to be grounding down toward the floor. So you're coming off your tippy toes, getting a nice deep stretch in the hamstrings and the Achilles tendons. Feel as if your heart is sinking in toward your thighs, shoulders rolling away from the ears, head hangs loose, lots of space in the neck. Fingers are spread wide, grounding into all 10 finger pads, especially the thumb and the forefinger. One more breath. Inhale, take a look forward at the front of the mat. And then you can either hop or step to the front. Take an inhale, lengthen again, hands to the floor or the shins, gazing forward. And then exhale, fold and release, letting go. And then inhale, sweep the arms up, Urdhva Hastasana. Make sure the shoulders are relaxed. Exhale, hands to your heart, Tadasana, mountain pose. And that's it. So it's very simple, although in the beginning it seems really confusing. So we hope to see you at the Yoga Shack where we can actually instruct you, give you some hands-on, and give you some pointers. We'll be back in a few days for another video. Peace out. Namaste. Namaste.